How you doing? This is Yaakov with another, with another beautiful idea. In the middle of this beautiful idea, may everybody find God, connect with one another, and live a beautiful, peaceful life together. Last last time we were together, um, we were talking about um, Noah and Abraham, how love and unity they are con- they're directly connected to one another. They're synonymous, and how basically how at the inside, like like uh, like the 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 righteous person, the chalban zatzal, may his memory be a blessing for everyone. Uh, based off my uh, my friend Shir Yaakov Klein, what he brought down um, from the chalban that the uh, inside of a the outside of a person is the externality of the person is their thoughts and their feelings and them alone and and their correction their personal corrections that they have to do in their life and the the inside aspect of a person how the pinimio to the inside of a person is really where the point at which people are connecting to one another and uh, that their souls connected and that you feel your you feel that what you're doing is not just about you. It's a it's a big it's way bigger than that. So I want to continue on this line of thinking based off my friend Yaakov Klein and the Sefer of the Chaban. Thank you so much for all your information and beautiful, like amazing information. And may everybody uh enjoy and uh, share also and like if you like as well. Most important thing is that sh- sharing. <laughs> and use it yourself as well. Um so in the in the most recent uh class that Jakob Klein gave, I wanna just bring down beautiful ideas. Um we're taking a step further that he gave two examples of of the souls of Am Yisrael, specifically the souls of Am Yisrael, and his, historically um that the soul of Am, the souls of Am Yisrael are the that they are the specifically in the Torah when it says that when Yaakov Avinu came down to Mitzrayim it says with 70 people it says uh, it says that Yaakov came down Shivim Nafesh um, literally means 70 soul um, so we have to understand why and basic basic grammar explains that um, that you have more than one soul it's called the souls so why is it seventy soul? Because the the souls that came down to Yaak- with Yaakov Avinu, they are basically showing even though they're seventy, which is our chalakim, which are parts, many different parts, like many different souls. Still, the message that the Torah was given that that the children of Yaakov, all the children of Yaakov, all the tribes, even though there are many individuals, let's say twelve tribes, and you have seventy people that came down with Yaakov. That they're all one. So only by Am Yisrael do you have this unity intrinsic in the soul. That is, um, that is specifically connected, and the truth, the higher truth, is that we're all connected. Especially as we learned from yesterday's shir, by the Tower of Babel, that they were all finally connected, one language, ready to do the right, ready to do what they thought was right, even though it was the wrong thing. And which set the stage for Avram Avinu, which Abraham, in our portions that we're going over this week, um, I mean in the previous week and also this coming week as well, um, where Avram Avinu, he represents love, the love that that is able to to harness this unity and to be able to put it on the right track and the right path to love Hashem, and where everybody loves each other in the right way, in a healthy way, in the holy way, they're able to be able to come out with the right decisions and the right. And the right, um, the right way of thinking and the right way of serving God as well. So, I want to go very. I want to go further. So, the message of the Chalban in this recent uh, share that Yaakov, my friend Yaakov Klein, gave, was explaining that uh, he gave two examples, which really I really liked. Um, we said before the externality of an individual is like your personal corrections that you're trying to do, which most people are focused on, are like very focused on when you're the first many many years you're you're getting into your, I'm um, serving God, a person, <coughs> is 
very focused on correcting themselves, focusing on the inner self. Even when I do a kindness, what reward I'm going to get, even if I benefit another person, how, how much enjoyment I have. It's not a bad thing. It's a wonderful thing, actually. It's definitely a big starting point. <coughs> it's basically, in, the, in that sense of the way, it's, in, in that sense, it's, it's kind of like, um, it's a big focus on your, on your own personal soul, the, your personal portion. Okay, and he 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 likened it to a mirror that shattered into six hundred thousand pieces, and each piece has its own color and its own shade and its own beauty on its own. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> and uh, and each 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 mirror, and if you put it into a dark room with a little light coming into the room, you could start to see each individual. The room was mostly dark, so each individual piece you can see individually how it shines, so individually how it's special it is, and it's a special thing to be able to see the individuality, how everybody's unique to bring out your personal strengths and abilities. But compared to the Chalban is saying, compared to the real purpose, the Pinimiot, the really inner aspect of what it really the deepest parts of a person are. The deepest parts of the person actually the most hidden thing, even beyond the talents, your personal talents and abilities. It's where your soul is harnessing your abilities to use it for a higher purpose than your own. It's where it's where the soul is connected to the body. <coughs> soul without a bo- the body without a soul uh, doesn't do anything. And the soul without a body also doesn't do anything, doesn't get you anywhere. But there, there are two different, there are two different ideas. A person who's just focused on the, just on themselves, can only go so far. A cell. You give an example like a cell. One cell inside a person has life, but on its own, cannot do anything. Cannot do barely anything. But with the collective, other thousands and millions and billions of cells within a person. It creates a community, a community that's able to be able to accomplish, and it's part of a greater whole. Its job is not nullified. It doesn't, it doesn't just nullify itself. The cell doesn't just be like, okay, I'm nothing in the face of the rest of the body. I'm something, and my something has real intrinsic value only when joined with the rest of the other cells. Then I can have the real purposeful effect that I'm supposed to have which is hidden because every individual is just so focused and we're so focused naturally on ourself. My, I'm so focused on myself that sometimes it's so difficult to see the bigger picture. It's not about me. It's big, not It's not just about me. It's a bigger than me. Yes, I'm developing my own personal strength and, 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 and strengthening the weaknesses that I have, which is a wonderful and mo- amazing and a very holy thing. And we have to begin there. We have to be able to begin to recognize First, I am individual. I'm very important to myself and to God. And I should be important to my family and to my friends and to the loved ones and to all the people we're connected to in the world. That's one idea. The other idea is the pinimio, the real reality, is that is that we're connected to the whole. And when we take our skills and abilities and we're subservient to the whole, without losing our individuality, without without continuously working on ourself, <coughs> Without continuously working on ourselves, so we can't really bring bring out the best in the whole. So by by working on herself, by by really taking these shattered pieces of glass, and by illuminating them, putting them in a, in a room of light, that the light is able to reflect off of them, off each piece of glass in its own way, in its own color, the only shape, and together, they're able to to reflect their light. It's basically like the soul, the light of the soul is not just Illuminating is not just illuminating the piece of shard, but it's bouncing off the piece of shard. The light is so powerful. The soul is so powerful. The Jews are supposed to be the light unto the nations, okay? Where the the where the light is bouncing off the shard and is able to reflect its light onto others. And this is not just for Jewish people; it's for everybody. In the, in regard in this regards, is that we we just take a lesson from the Jewish people regarding this that that we we must all take what we're being given and not just use it for our own selfish desires even if they're holy desires we must realize 
that there's a greater aspect. Hashem gave us our abilities and our talents and everything in order to to use those to shine the light of our soul, the soul that should use these abilities, this unique shard that we've been given, this body, whatever the abilities that this body has been given with with its soul. Because the soul, the truth is, the soul, even on a very, very low, low level, is 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 manifesting, is manifesting actions and speeches and thoughts within the body and is able to to accomplish amazing feats the abilities of the, of the soul are manifest through the body and without the body the soul cannot do this so we have to appreciate both the soul and the body we are the soul but through the body we're able to fulfill the right job which is to be use our abilities to be a part of the whole and to create a better life for the rest of the organism for the rest of the whole and and we're able to shine the light through each shard and the beautiful thing to the rest of everyone else, to the rest of to the rest of all the other everybody else who needs that light. And also it's very much likened, I love the 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 metaphor they also gave about a balloon, a flat balloon. If you take a flat balloon and how it how it's just flat, and as the balloon extends, so you have one part of the balloon going this way, the other part going this way, the other part going this way, the other part going this way, like a, a circumference of the balloon, like like he was describing. And how each person is tugging in his own path, meaning each person is supposed to believe in his abilities, abilities and talents and go on their own path. But do it, when you do it for this, not for your sake, do it for the sake of of everyone, of the whole organism, of the whole community. It's bigger than us, but it includes you. It's with you. It's not to nullify your abilities and talents. It's to, so to speak, let them shine through that they should be able to affect the rest of the balloon, the rest of the abilities, that it should increase the whole balloon as, as you go further out, as you venture further out in your own path. You're not forgetting about everybody else. You're making, in fact, the balloon is expanding and making room for everyone else. And, and, um, and to be able to, 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 to really focus on the real purpose with the inside aspect of ourself which is to to be connected to everyone to be able to be connected to to realize the soul our soul is way bigger we're just a piece of the collective soul and not just of Am Yisrael but Am Yisrael is is the is is the prototype we're supposed to be the prototype we're supposed to try our best to be the proto that pro, the prototype like Rav Jor has said like many people have said as well and we we need to be able to wake up and slowly, slowly, action one act, one day at a time. Take one day, and to live in today, and no matter what we think, we are from our past, and to recognize, like like Yaakov Klein was saying, that actually what's hidden from us, the fact you might see your talents and abilities, you might see another person's talents and abilities, you might see their lackings, as their as and define them according to what you see, but the truth is what's hidden how they affect the rest of the whole, you cannot see that. That's something that, in, in general, you can't see that. And our, our job is to be able to work on how to express taking our unique talents and abilities. And we should be able to express it for the purpose of the whole, of the whole of everybody, of all the souls. And when we fulfill our purpose, we'll see that, that, that Gan Eden, we'll see that beautiful world that we're talking about, that, we, that we're yearning for. That even that even the the people who are furthest away will be able to feel how pleasant and how amazing this world is. It's not a, just about us. It's not. It's not. It's not about us. It's not just about us. It is about us. It is about each cell. And at the same time, the bigger picture, the bigger picture than that, it's about everyone together working together with their skills and abilities. Even though it looks like I may have a certain ability that you don't have, that's not. But that's only from one aspect. You don't see what's hidden from you about me and vice versa. I may not see you talk. I may not see you do certain things. But first of all, if I already don't see you revealing something, I can't assume anything. I don't know anything already. And all the more so if there are things even that are further hidden. Maybe you don't talk to me but at, right now, but at, but you have things that you say to people and that's revealed. And people think that that's who you are. Those things that you've revealed, but the truth is, your the soul of a person is way beyond that because it's what you're contributing to the whole is something that only people can can see in time. 
And so the purpose of everything we find is in this one pasuk, nafshi yatzabada bro, like we said before, that the uh, that the, my soul goes out with its word, that, that we're waiting for this good word for everybody to be able to hear these beautiful words from every individual, from not just not just my videos, not not just the videos of of Rav Jor and and everybody else, which Rav Jor himself is re, 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 recognizes very strongly, that everyone needs to contribute. It's not and and whether it's a musical ability or writing ability or or thinking ability, whatever it is, situation or ideas and and action and parnas and money and whatever person's able to to contribute time. It's all energy. It's all effort. It's all your abilities. It's all from your side, but for the greater whole. And may everybody merit to really understand how much that that's our real inside is not the main focus in our life. Once we understand our abilities are important, but understand it's only the main importance that it really has is only in relation to helping everyone, to helping all the other all the other all the other individuals as well, because we are all connected. And those people that you think you're not connected to, I'm connected to. And those people I think I'm not connected to, you're connected to. And your friend is connected to. So just like a just like a hand that's close to the wrist, which is close to the arm, which is close to the elbow, which is close to the rest of the sh- you know, the upper arm and the shoulder. We might be not be close, but we're close to something that's close to this. So everything that we're doing affects one another. And we must value it. We must value what Hashem gave us. We must value everything that, that all of that, all of our abilities, and also enhance our abilities that God gave us, and don't hide away from them, because they are gonna they are what will save the rest of the organism. They will they, those are the abilities and talents that God Himself has given, and we must believe in it, and uh, to such a huge, de- tremendous degree that Rav Shalom Arush, Rav Jor, and, and many, many, and Rabbi Nachman himself also said that. Not believing in yourself and the talents, abilities that, that God gave you is actually, in effect, a, 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 a form of a lack of faith in God because you don't believe that He can shower and show His goodness and reveal His goodness through you for the sake of everyone. And that because God has in mind everyone, His final, especially the final Geula, the final redemption, God has really in mind everyone. Otherwise, He would have brought it already. Uh, where people already we know couldn't have been included in it. He would have brought it already. But now God want, is waiting. He wants us to, to be able to show and to reveal His beauty, which is which is which looks like our beauty, but it's His beauty through us. We are the light. The light that shines through us is His soul. The power that our soul is his, is from God. And that's the light. And those are the abilities and talents. And may we all merit to be able to shine the light through our body, through divine providence, and show everybody our talents and our abilities are not our own. They're for the collective. They're for everyone. And we don't have to take, and even when we take compliments on it and we're grateful for it, to recognize that it doesn't belong to us. We're just supposed to share. We're supposed to care and we're supposed to spread it out so that our whole organism, everybody together and a collective group, as a collective one collective group, will call on God with together with one name and, and glorify him and when when we shower the whole humanity um, with this wisdom to be able that they should understand this too we'll have this godly world obvious that people can literally see that I am my soul my soul is expressing itself through this body for the sake of everyone for the sake of God and may everybody merit to see that world have a beautiful day